Welcome, I'm from is a Samsung Galaxy A21s and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks that you can do on this device. So starting off we're gonna begin with a dark mode which you can access either through settings or possibly also through a notification panel which I'm gonna check and there it is, dark mode, so you can simply tap on it and it will change everything into this dark theme. I know because this is also an AMOLED display, um, the battery consumption will be reduced based on the fact that uh, any kind of completely black background like right here can you can see uh, isn't lit up so that's the phone that actually doesn't need to waste the power to do anything there basically in other words the black area of the display is virtually turned off so that is the first one now moving on we're gonna go into the uh, navigation uh, gestures so we can access them through settings under the display and it's going to be somewhere here navigation bar and as you can see you have full screen gestures once you select it give it a moment and there we go it automatically switches now apart from it looking uh, a little bit more modern uh, it adds a little bit of a cleaner look to your device uh, most of the icons also lower on your home screen uh, based on the fact that it doesn't need to accommodate the space for the buttons that were previously here and if you're also wondering how to use this Basically you have this bar which you can swipe up to go home, swipe up and hold to go to recent and swipe from the side to go back. As you can see when you swipe from either side you will have this arrow up here and simply swipe on it and it goes back. Now moving on to the next one, it's going to be the pop-up view which can be accessed through recent. So let's open up recent apps like so and from here as you can see I have multiple apps open but what you want to do is tap on the icon itself of the app and you'll have open and pop-up view and when you tap on it, it opens up this tiny little window which you can resize as well if you want to as you can see I'll make it bigger smaller when you press or try to go home it usually I believe there is a way to minimize it okay there we go so you press the button right here second second button from left or right um, so you can have this app head and this also works in split screen so moving on to the next one which will be split screen let's open up uh, two apps which I I'm gonna open up YouTube let's go with YouTube first and let's go into recent tap on it disregard the battery and let's open in split screen view and this will open up the first app on top and then you have the recent if your app that you want to open isn't here, simply just swipe up, go home and open the app that you actually want to split screen with. So I'm going to go with Chrome. As you can see, it opens up Chrome as well. And from there, you can also tap on the app that you have opened and use that on top of the others. Now, I'm not sure if we can open up any more, but I will sure will try. So let's open pop up view. And it looks like we can use multiple. Now if I could only get back to this one, that would be amazing. So there we go. So as you can see, now we have four different apps open at the same time. Now I'm not sure if there is a limit to how many you can have in pop-up view, but there is a limit in split screen, well, being two. But as you can see, you can have multiple apps open at the same time. You can resize them if you want to. So yeah, a fairly neat way to uh, multitask. Okay, so moving out of this, let's close it. And let's move to the last um, last tweak, which personally I really like. That's the swipe down for notification panel. Now by default you have the app tray by swiping up and down, which just makes one of them redundant. But luckily you can change the swipe down let's just make this full screen there we go and i'm gonna close this so from the settings we're gonna go into home screen that's anywhere here let's do it from just the home screen it's gonna be easier so hold your finger go to home screen settings and from here we should have 
swipe down for a notification panel right over here. And now we can leave and as you can see you can still access your app tray by swiping up and by swiping down you access the notification panel which is, well, in my opinion more handy uh, comparing it to just two different direction swipe, uh, swipes for, uh, for the app tray. So now you can access your notification panel anywhere from your home screen as long as you have enough space to swipe down as you can see. And it just adds a little bit of an easier use of the device when you're holding the device in one hand. Uh, just as a demonstration, when you're holding it in one hand, it is quite challenging to reach there. Um, I ain't got no LeBron James hands, so I most certainly cannot reach to the top without actually rearranging the position of the phone. Um, so this will allow me just to swipe it from anywhere on the screen like so. But this will conclude all the tweaks and tricks that I want to share. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.